Hello Python programmers, this is AK. In this video, I'm going to do one NLP based project using one particular data source. So if you look at the projects that I uploaded in my channel, I specifically downloaded the data set from some source. Otherwise, I downloaded the data set from Kaggle to process the machine learning operations. But in this case, I'm not going to do like that. I'm going to do the data extraction process on my own. So for collecting the data, I'm going to use YouTube because if you look at the YouTube, we people giving lot of data towards different videos by sharing our opinions, supports and hate rates. Based on those comments, we are trying to build one sentiment model on some classification algorithm to analyze the expectation of a particular movie that is going to be released soon. So recently Black Adam movie trailer got released and my impression upon the movie is very high. Definitely I will watch that movie in theaters. And now I'm planning to analyze the expectation of a Black Adam movie with the help of the comments that are received for the trailer. So this is the objective of this video and we are going to write two different python scripts one for data extraction and another one for data science transformation to analyze the expectation of a black adam movie so let's get started now you are seeing my data extraction script and i used one simple library in python called youtube comment scrapper it will extract the comment from any videos on YouTube. I used this script already to extract the comments from the Black Adam movie trailer. I Luckily, I found this library for data extraction. Otherwise, I have to write the scrapping code on my own. It is a very hectic process to write the scrapping code because it won't work 90% of time. So that's why I love to code on Python because Python has different set of libraries for different purposes. Luckily, I found this library. So it makes my process very easy. See the code here, I imported the pandas module. Because the comments need to be stored in some particular reading format, I imported the pandas and it will store the comments in CSV format for our analytics. After that, I declared input and output variables. You can put any video links that you want to extract comments. It will play as you are convenient. Next step, I wrote one for loop here. I attached the range parameter in the for loop. This range parameter explains that how much comments you want to extract. Typically, the range parameter scroll the comment section of a particular video. Here I set the range parameter as 0 to 20. It means it will scroll 20 times on the command section to extract the comments for you. After it extracted the comments, it will store the comments in the CSV format. So this is the workflow of this data extraction script. So this is a simple script and, I, and there is not much complexity to understand. And if you want the references of this script, I uploaded this script on GitHub so you can download the script from there. Okay. Now look at the data transformation script. Firstly, I imported all the necessary libraries for the data transformation and then I read the data file that we extracted by using the previous script. There are some columns in the data we don't specifically want that columns. So I dropped the unwanted columns and I keep the comment column only for my sentiment model. Totally, I have 280 comments are there. And if you want to use more data for your sentiment model, you can try by increase the range parameter in the for loop. But remember, if you increase the value, it will take more time for data extraction. And if you want a quick analysis, you can reduce the parameter size. And for big data processing, you can increase the parameter size to get the larger data set. Okay. So next I wrote the code for data labeling part because look at the data set we have. We don't have any sort of labeling for understanding the data such as which comments are positive comments, negative comments and neutral comments. We need to label the data to understand the comments well. For labeling the data, I used one module from Python, which is called a sentiment intensity analyzer, which will be to label the data set based on the polarity scores. And down there, I wrote the logic. If the polarity score of particular comment is greater than or equal to 0.05, then comments will come under the positive state. And if the polarity score is less than or equal to minus 0.05, then the comments will come under the negative state. And if the polarity score is not comes under the mentioned number range, then the comment will come under the neutral comments. It is the logic that I wrote here in this program. So let's run this cell. You can see here now the data is labeled. We can clearly understand the structure of the data set. Let's move to the next step. Now we need to drop the polarity scores because we are not going to deal with the polarity scores. We, are, we need the sentiment column for our data processing. So let's drop the polarity scores column. So this is our final data set. We're going to apply various transformations on this data set to pull the insights. In the first step of data transformation process, I'm going to do some text processing because if we apply the raw data set, it won't perform on machine learning modeling. So we need to transform the data. For transformation, I used some of the lamentation modules from Python. Lamentation is something that will turn your words into its root form. Other than the lamentation, I included some of the other transformation techniques like 
converting alphabets into lower form and removing the new lines punctuations special characters tokenizations and stop words so these are just common text processing techniques if you worked on nlp projects probably you should know about that but these are the common techniques that will present in any text based projects you should have to understand this common techniques so let's move to the next process So in this process, we have to do some encoding. Why we are doing encoding means the machine learning algorithms won't accept the string data, but we are having only the string data to process. For converting the string data, we have to do some encoding process. In the first step of encoding process, we have to encode the labels. The labels are the data that represents our commands. In the sentiment column, we are having the label data. I used the label encoder function here. So it will convert our labels into equal numerical forms. And let's run this block. So see here our label data is beautifully converted into numbers so the number two represents the positive comment number one represent the negative comment and zero represent the neutral comments seems like there are a lot of positive data are there only few amount of negative and neutral data is present in the data set we are getting here the imbalanced data set if you process the imbalanced data set then you can't expect the unbiased results so what we need to do is you have to convert the data into a balanced one there is one concept in machine learning called sampling we're going to apply here for balancing the data set. And if you want to know the concept of sampling, then please check this video. In this video, I explain the sampling concept with some examples. You will understand it easily. After the sampling process, we got the balanced data set. So see here, our data is equally distributed in all labels. Now we need to resume our encoding process for sentence column, which holds our comments. So I'm using one particular method in Python called count vectorizer. And if you want an internal working process of this module, check my NLP videos. I explained the process of converting the text data into vectors clearly. So it will be easy for you to understand the internal concept of this transformation much clearly. Okay. So once it is done, our data will look like some arrays and numbers. So it's the right data to process for machine learning modeling. Let's start the machine learning process. I'm going to feed my data set into Gaussian new based classifiers. And again, if you want to understand the background mathematics of this algorithm, check this video for better understanding. I don't want to explain the algorithms that I used currently because I already explained most of the machine learning algorithms in my channels. And if you want to explore those things, check out my data science playlist. So let's train our model. Our algorithm is trained. Let's check the results. I fed my test data set into my model. So see here, 58 times my model predicted the positive commands correctly, and it doesn't predict other category commands as positive in this case. Our model is working well on predicting the positive commands. And in the second row, we got 70 negative commands. My model predicted 70 negative commands as negative. It doesn't predict my negative comments as positive or neutral in this case. And finally, the neutral category. So it predicted 11 neutral commands as positive and, and one time it predicted my neutral command as negative and 45 times it correctly predicted as neutral. So seems like we got good fit model. Let's check the accuracy of my model. So here I got a 93% model accuracy. It means our model is working 93% good. So that's all about this video. And if you have any doubts about this concept, comment it down. I will reply instantly to clear your doubts. And then if you want the code of this project, link is in the description. You can go and copy my code and do your own analysis. So that's all about this video. Thanks for watching and thank you. See you on next another video.